good y'all it's the imani anisa here and i am back with another video if you didn't know now you know so today as you can see by that title we have something going on okay i get so many questions about how to thrift what to thrift how to look what order should be going and today your girl is going to give you the answer okay but before we do that pump your brakes okay you need to make sure that you number one subscribe number two click that like button number three click that bell notification so you know when your girl posts another video and to all my new subscribers hey i promise we will not disappoint over here baby we will have a good old time so thank you for subscribing and let's get into this video okay y'all so i have about nine tips for us tips and tricks on how to thrift y'all again i get so many questions about how to thrift what to thrift where to look what goodwills to go to should i even go to goodwill and today the girl has the answers consider me your thrift guru all right so tip number one never i repeat never go to goodwill looking for something specific because that is where we mess up time and time and time again you say to yourself oh i need a denim jacket and then run to goodwill baby it's not gonna work that way it's just not okay when you go to goodwill you have to go with an open mind you have to go like to just see what they have. You don't go looking for anything because you're not gonna find it. I repeat, you are not going to find it. It never works out that way. You may find something similar, but baby, you will never find what you're going there looking for. All right, you guys, so step number two, all right? Step number two is literally stop trying to set aside like an hour to thrift. You need about five. Tell them, Jerry, say, I need about five hours. Why do you need five hours? Especially if this is like your first time thrifting, you need five hours. You need an hour to just skim around, see what the color of the day is. You need to see, you know, what you can see from where you're standing at the front door that you know you want right then and there. You need to figure out what your favorite item is, right? All that might take about an hour. And to also find the place you're going to, you need to figure out where you're going and what you're doing. But you just set aside five hours of time because it's gonna take a long time. I try on stuff at the thrift store. I yeah, skim everywhere. I look everywhere. So you're going to need that time, you guys. Like if that time is so pertinent. And you may not use all those five hours but just set aside five hours of time. Don't try to go on your lunch break. Don't try to go when you only have an hour window. It's a waste of time. Yeah, no, no. Tell them, no, no. No, no. Tip number three, y'all, bring some music. You're gonna be in there for a long time. You need something to keep you upbeat, get you excited, get you wanting to keep thrifting, making you feel cute so you know what you could visualize when you walk to the club with your girls, when you go to work, when you go here, when you go there, you need to be able to see it. You got to see it to believe it. So putting on some music in your ear, y'all, will definitely keep you hyped and ready to keep going during this five hour journey you're about to be on inside this thrift store, right? One more. Here's one for your hand. Here's another for your other hand. Journey's eating the Power Curls by Lesser Evil. Good. Tip number four. You must eat before you go to the thrift store. Do not, I repeat, do not go to the thrift store for five hours and you ain't ate nothing. Because you are going to be ready to go. You're going to get hangry. You're going to have an attitude. You're going to want to knock somebody out for being in your way for too long, y'all. Just eat. Grab yourself something to eat on the way there. 
eat at home, make you a little snack maybe to bring with you while you're there. You might not want to do that because you're touching old stuff and stuff that's like not been washed. But y'all, please eat. Make sure you eat while you're there because if you don't, you're going to starve. All right. Tip number five. This is my one of my number one tips, okay? Tip number five is wear comfortable clothes. But not only wear comfortable clothes, wear clothes that you can try on clothes over, okay? Goodwill, if you're going to Goodwill, Goodwill thrift stores, their dressing rooms have been closed since pandemic. They have not opened them back up. Don't think you're going to go to a Goodwill and find yourself a dressing room to dress in. It's not happening. You're going to find yourself a mirror. You're going to wear leggings. You're going to wear a t-shirt. And then you're going to try on your stuff in the mirror inside that store in front of everybody. Yes. That's what you're going to do because we don't waste money around here. We're not going to go buy stuff and then not take it back and then don't fit. And now you got to give it to your cousin Shirley because she's smaller than you. Or give it to your cousin Esther because she's bigger than you. Okay, we're not doing that. Okay, we're not doing it. Just put on your leggings, your thinnest pair of leggings you got. Put on a shirt, a thin t-shirt. And try on your clothes while you're in there. Right? Or put on some biker shorts. That might be a better option. Put on some biker shorts. Put on a... Okay, I'm fine. Put on some biker shorts. Put on a thin t-shirt, y'all. And get to trying on your things, okay? Don't don't play with yourself like that. Uh -oh. My eye? <laughs> you see mommy's eyelashes? No. You want some? No. Tip number seven, y'all. This is going to save you like a lot of heartache in the thrift store, okay? Ask the store clerk, ask somebody that works in there what their restock days are. What day do they get their shipment in, right? You want to know these things. Why? Because that is the day and that is the time you want to go up in there. You don't want to go in there. If they get their shipment on Wednesday, you don't want to go in there Friday expecting to find some fire stuff. You might. I do a lot of times. I don't really know the, sh the shipment days, but it will benefit you to go you sharing your snack? Yummy. It will benefit you to go on the day that they drop their stuff on those racks. That's when you're going to get the most bang for your buck. That's when you're going to see all the exciting things that they have to offer. Go on those days, okay? Make it happen. Tip number eight, y'all. Different locations have different things, okay? And right now we're talking about Goodwill, right? If you go to a Goodwill, let's say you live in Atlanta, and you go to Goodwill and Buckhead, right? You're going to find some nice quality things. Why? The rich people live there. So you can almost bet your bottom dollar that they are just uh -oh. throwing stuff away. Right, uh-oh, that they are just throwing stuff away. You're bound to find your name brand, nice looking, brand uh -oh. new stuff at that Goodwill because they don't care about that stuff. If you want to find good designer stuff, I suggest you hit up all the Goodwills in those areas where it's, yeah, in those areas where rich people live, right? Where people with money live, with status, because you're going to find those nice bags, those name brand vintage bags, y'all. You are bound to find vintage things in the richer areas, and I promise you, I won't, I won't steer you wrong. I know what I'm talking about, okay? If you go to like a more urban area, you're gonna find your stuff um, from Fashion Nova that still have tags on it. You're gonna find your stuff from Pretty Little Thing that have y'all. I found so much Fashion Nova, so much True Religion, so much Polo, so much this, so, y'all. With tags, fresh, brand new. Uh, my last tip, right? Think of Goodwill shopping or just thrifting in general like a game. Like, it's literally a game. You're going in there. It's like hide and seek. Like, ooh, what can I find? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I found this. Ooh. And you might not even, like, want to buy everything. But I'm telling you, y'all, like, you are bound to find some really great things that cost so much money. While you're at the thrift store, pull out your Google. Pull out your phone. Why? Because when you find these brands, you're going to want to look it up. And see how much it's worth. And see really how much your closet is looking. Okay? How expensive that closet is looking. Because I'm trying to tell you. 
Goodwill and thrift stores be having some really good stuff and a lot of people sleep on thrifting because they're ashamed. Oh, I don't want to go in there. It's dirty. People wore it. It's for poor people. No, it ain't. Okay. It's for people that like a, light, a nice bang for their buck that also have style. If you thrift, you have style. And that's just what I think. Why? Because you could take something from nothing. You take somebody's trash and turn it into treasure. Okay. Now I want to give you guys the eight steps to how I thrift, right? I have a system. I have something going on here, right? And I go by this method every single time I go into the thrift store. Here they are. Number one, faves first. Repeat after me. Faves first. Well, when you go into a thrift store, or at least for me, when I go into a thrift store, I like to go to what I think are my favorites first. That is the bags and that's the shoes, okay? My two favorite things, I love me a nice bag and the girl love me some shoes, okay? So that's where I'm going first, why? Motivation purposes. Especially if you go when they when they drop shipment or when they're getting their new things or you know their new things out on the racks, you're bound to find something really, really great in the places that you love and it's going to excite you to keep going right and and you don't want people getting to it before you do right you might have came into the store with a few people you don't know and you might see a bag and if you don't go get that bag if you don't even go over there to your favorites you're not going to get none of the stuff that you like because you wasted your time going to places and some areas of the store that you didn't even like for real for real so I prefer to go to my faves first, the shoes and the bags. If you like dresses, go to the dresses first. Now I'm gonna tell you, stop sticking your fingers down your throat. Number two, versatility. The next thing you wanna do y'all is go to the section that is going to provide you the most versatility within your wardrobe. For me, that is dresses. You can take a dress, hike it up on the side, wear it with some jeans and boom. You got you a little two-piece outfit. You could take a dress, tie it up in the front, and boom, you got you a shirt. You could take the dress, put it over your head, and now boom, you got a shirt with a hoodie on it. You know, you know what I'm saying? So go to what's next. Go to what provides you the most versatility in your wardrobe. That could be anything for you, right? That could really mean anything for you. Some people find versatility in pants, skirts. Y'all, skirts have so much versatility, right? So go to where it is that's going to provide you the most versatility, okay? Because you want to, versatility means you got 10 outfits in one. Don't be foolish just going in there and just getting whatever, right? You got to be strategic. You got to make sense, especially if you're on a budget. Girl, but, girl, go. She over here having a meltdown. You don't have to be in my video. Okay, but if you're gonna be up here, you need to cooperate. You can't be doing all of that, okay? You gotta sit still and you gotta be a part of the video, all right? We're almost done. You asked to be in here, not me, honey. Okay, number three. The third thing that I do when I go, after I went to my favorites, after I did my versatility look, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna focus Daddy. on, you're gonna focus Dad. on, what is your attitude? Why you got an attitude? You're gonna focus on your needs next, okay? Next, you're going to look for the things that you need. You know if you need basics, right? You know what you need in your wardrobe. You know if you're missing like basic things like white tees, black tees, white, uh, gray tees, sweats. Girl, I'm about to kick you out. We're almost done. You don't have to be in here. You can go in the room with your brother. No. Okay, so chill out. You know what you need. You know if you need socks. You know if you need skirts, you know if you need jackets, go to what you need next. That's the third thing that you should do. Handle your needs, right? Because that's going to elevate your wardrobe. For me, my needs were basics. So I found me some things that I could pair with some jeans, right? A nice white tee, a nice black tee, a nice fit and long sleeve bodysuit. Like, you know, you know what you need in your closet. So get what, get what you need. 
Okay, so after you go through your needs, y'all, the next thing that I suggest to do is go to your wants, right? Figure out what it is you want. For me, a lot of times I'm looking or I want jackets. I know a lot of people go to thrift stores like because they want a, a denim jacket. They want something like that. The, a velour tracksuit, like very specific, right? Next, you're going to skim and look for what you want. What is it really that you really want that you need in your wardrobe? Next, you're going to do the <laughs> skim and scan game. You're going to look for things or look at the places that you normally wouldn't really care to look like the pajama section, y'all. Don't you sleep on that pajama section, okay? All those um silky like dresses we like to wear with our jeans or like with our jackets, a little silk dress, honey. Sorry, y'all. Journey had a moment. Take a deep breath. Good job, baby. Now I'm going to places that I normally wouldn't look at. I normally probably wouldn't look at the hats. I normally probably wouldn't look at the belts. I probably wouldn't even really look at the fabric, right? But fabric can be literally be turned into anything with a pin. You take a clothes pin and you can turn it into anything, okay? So go to those fabrics. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated by the fabric. Go to those belts because you can take that fabric, take you a belt, and boom! You got you. It's just that simple, y'all. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to put you on game. I'm trying to put you on game. Okay. Next, after I've gotten my cart full to the brim, the Goodwill workers are pissed off because they know I'm not taking all of this stuff. Okay. I try on everything. I if I have a belt and a piece of fabric, I'm even gonna see how that looks. Okay, if I got something that might be too big, but I got me a belt, I'm going to put that belt on with that thing that's too big to see if I like how it's given. Okay, that is what you need to do. Get in front of that mirror that's attached to that one, that one rack. Lay your stuff out. What you doing? Take your jacket off? Whatever you need to do, y'all, get in front of that mirror and try that thing on. Try those things on, y'all. Try it on. Okay, because you never know until you try. Yes, y'all. So once you've tried on everything and everything is looking like how it's supposed to look, I like to sort through my things. I'm not a big baller yet, so I'm not about to buy everything that I done put in my likes pile because I do separate my piles from the likes, the don't likes, the uh, maybe, maybe not, right? And then once I got my budget together and I figured out what I want, I take my stuff to the checkout. Now, here's where I mess up sometimes usually in the goodwill the jewelry is by the checkout counter right you could look there first if jewelry is your favorite like you could look there first before you go look at clothes which might be the smarter thing to do so you can just get that out the way right but i usually don't look at that until i'm leaving right and then i can see do i like something if i like something then i'll double back around to the checkout line and get it but if not it's you know it's whatever right Sometimes they have good things, sometimes they don't. Jewelry at Goodwill is like a hit or miss. You may find something, you may not. But, you know, it's there, okay? So if you want to look at that before or after, that's completely up to you. Y'all, I think that's it. Before we leave, though, I want to encourage you guys, if you are not a thrifter and you're just, you know, watching this video to see, you know, what it's about and, like, you know, how to do it and you're not really sold yet, I really want to invite you to thrift. Mainly because, of course, you can find cute things. Of course, you can get you some steals, right? However, it is completely, like, environmentally friendly. Being sustainable saves the earth every, every single time. Fast fashion has definitely destroyed the planet with all of the, the, the wasted clothes, the fastly produced clothes. They get wasted, the tags, all of that, y'all. So if we can just do us all a favor by protecting this earth and being sustainable, right? We don't always have to run to the Nova. They got it at Goodwill. We don't always have to run to the Lulu. They got it at Goodwill. Y'all, they have everything there, right? So thrifting definitely helps us and helps our earth stay beautiful, okay? So with that being said, thank you again for watching. It means the world to me. If you are new here again, hey, thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you are, make sure you like this video. Make sure you push that push notification button so you know when your girl posts another video. And that's that on that, period. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.